Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Battle Through the Heavens based on novel. So let's start. Over a dozen moonlight stones were inserted into the surrounding tree trunks of an empty area within the forest. The light that they emitted caused this area to appear quite bright. The dense fog had also been scattered by the big battle that had occurred earlier. Hence, it had resulted in this place becoming much more visible. There were five figures in the empty ground. Four were male and one was female. Their strengths were all quite great. Clearly, they were not weaklings. Moreover, this kind of aura was not something that an ordinary person could emit. The five auras were similarly strong. One of the four men was wearing deep yellow clothing. Additionally, there was a knife scar on his face. He was currently sitting on a tree branch, leaning against the tree trunk. His gaze lazily swept over the place below as he faintly said, hurry up. The other three men on the ground hurriedly nodded their heads upon hearing this person speak. The three of them were wearing yellow-colored robes and wore a similar badge on their chests. It seemed that they belonged to the same faction, hand over the psychic white fox. It is not as though we have not done something like killing a woman. The lady was holding a long sword in her hand. Her pale green clothing wrapped around her exquisite figure until it was vividly displayed. Her voluminous figure was extremely attractive, and her black hair, which was randomly restrained by a green-colored cloth, extended to her lovely buttocks. That young and pretty appearance of hers was not foreign. It was surprisingly Nalan Yangran, who had accompanied Yun Yun in leaving Jiomar Empire back then. A couple of years had passed. The current Nalan Yangran no longer had the tenderness that she had back then, when she moved, she would emit an alluring mature attraction. The pampered young lady back then had truly become a great beauty that could bring destruction to cities and empires. Extreme beauty is said to be able to cause destruction of empires, because they tend to be able to distract the ruler from doing the right things or from working. There was a lovely little white-colored fox on Nalan Yanran's shoulders. This white fox had snow-white fur which was extremely smooth. At a glance, one would have the feeling of liking it too much to put it down. It possessed lethal impact on women. At this moment, the pair of intelligent eyes belonging to this white fox were roaming all around. It seemed that the killing intent, which was permeating from the bodies of the tree people on the opposite side, had caused the snow-white fur to show signs of trembling. A soft babbling was emitted from its mouth. Nalan Yangran seemed to have sensed the fear of the little, white fox. She gently rubbed its head before slowly raising her head. Those pretty eyes of hers were icily staring at the three people opposite her. She tightened her grip on the longsword as a sharp sword aura slowly surged out. Two ice-cold words were also softly emitted from her mouth. The expressions of the three yellow-clothed men became slightly colder when they saw that Nalan Yangran had identified their faction. With their strength, they were also considered the elites within the younger generation of the Ground Spirit Gate. Although they could not be compared with people like Tang Ying and Miss Fong, they still had some reputation. If they had not needed the psychic white fox to lead the way when they entered the Heaven Eye Mountain Range, they would not have become enemies with a five-star Do Huang for no reason. However, since they had already done so, there was naturally no way to change things. The three of them exchanged glances. Immediately, they nodded slightly and decided not to continue getting entangled in this matter. Their bodies moved and formed a triangular shape, surrounding Nalan Yangran. Powerful deep yellow Do Chi surged out of their bodies, ground drawing prison. The hands of the three of them violently landed on the ground. The land shook and the soil rapidly churned. Rock fragments shot out. In the blink of an eye, a cage that was formed from the soil broke out of the ground and trapped Nalan Yangran within. Nalan Yangran knit her brows upon seeing this. Her feet pressed on the ground and her lovely body was like a spinning top that swiftly rotated. Sharp sword aura shot in all directions and viciously cut at the cage, causing many cut lines to quickly appear. The three yellow-clothed men fiercely slammed their hands on the ground when they saw that the cage was swiftly collapsing under Nalan Yanran's hands. Three yellow-colored spears, created from mud, immediately shot out of the ground. After which, they were quickly grabbed by the three of them. Their feet stomped on the ground as they shot toward Nalan Yangran in the middle. Nalan Yangran did not dare to slight the combined attack of three four-star Do Huangs. The long sword in her hand was wrapped by powerful sword aura as it trickily and viciously pierced out in a lightning-like manner. Four figures exchanged blows within the cage in a lightning-like manner. 
sword aura spread everywhere, forming numerous deep gullies in the ground. The three yellow-clothed men seemed to be aware of the sharpness of Nalan Yenran's sword aura. Therefore, they did not forcefully attack. Instead, they relied on their long-lasting ground affinity Do Qi to slowly exhaust her Do Qi. Nalan Yangran was similarly aware of the exhaustion tactic the three had adopted. However, she did not have any means to deal with it. These three people were cooperating extremely well and had firmly restricted her from the beginning. This caused her to lack even the slightest opportunity to rest. If this were to be prolonged, Do Qi deficiency would result in the interior of her body. The long sword pierced into the three spear tips in a lightning-like manner. Nalan Yenran's pretty face turned cold as sharp sword auras suddenly shot out, bang. Three mud spears were blown apart when they were struck by the sword aura. However, before Nalan Yangran could continue pressing her attack, the ground shook and an enormous sharp mud pillar shot out, causing her to hurriedly withdraw. When Nalan Yenran's body landed, the three people on a cross from her formed more long spears. A deep yellow armor had also appeared on their bodies at this moment, covering them with firm protection. Ground affinity Qi methods usually specialized in being long-lasting defenses, who is it? I am Huang Qian from the Ground Spirit Gate. Friend, please do not meddle in other people's business. The yellow-clothed man swept his gaze cautiously around him as he spoke with a deep voice. Aren't you afraid of throwing away the face of the ground spirit gate by having so many men bully a girl? A mocking laugh was emitted from the dense fog. Immediately, soft footsteps sounded. A moment later, a skinny figure appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Nalan Yangran, who was still in a state of shock, raised her head as she looked at the figure that was slowly walking out of the dense fog. She was just about to voice her thanks when she saw that face. Her body immediately stiffened. Her entire mind also seemed to have stilled at this moment. It was a long while later before she softly spoke the name, which was hidden deep in her memory, with some difficulty and disbelief, Xiao Xiao Yang. Nalan Yangran was also a little startled at the gentle manner in which Xiao Yang spoke. She had seldom seen Xiao Yang speak to her in such a calm manner. After all, she was aware of just what kind of trouble and harm that the events back then had brought to this prideful man. I'm fine thank you. Nalan Yenran's pretty eyes flickered slightly while she shook her head and softly replied, It seems that this friend really want to act like a hero rescuing a beauty. The expressions of the three yellow-clothed men sank when they saw Xiao Yang ignore them right from the beginning. The one who called himself Huang Tian earlier confronted him with a gloomy voice, Get lost. Xiao Yang did not shift his eyes even a little as he softly spoke. After which, he slowly walked to Nalan Yenran's side and glanced at the black-colored energy that was entwined around her body. He involuntarily laughed with a soft cold voice, Darkness affinity Do Qi is really rare. However, you actually launched a sneak attack despite your strength. This is really rather disdainful. Xiao Yang grabbed Nalan Yenran's snow-white wrist after saying those words. A wisp of jade green flame surfaced on the tip of his finger before it shot out in a lightning-like manner. In the face of Xiao Yang's swiftly flicked finger, the black-colored energy which entwined around Nalan Yenran's body appeared like snow that had met fire as it swiftly melted. The man in deep yellow clothes on the tree branch narrowed his eyes as he looked at Xiao Yang below. This was especially the case when he saw him easily expel the black-colored energy on Nalan Yenran's body, causing his eyes to involuntarily shrink a little more. As the black-colored energy on her body gradually disappeared, Nalan Yangran also once again recovered her freedom and gently opened her palm. Seeing this, Xiao Yang also hurriedly released his hand. He was just about to speak when Nalan Yenran's expression changed slightly. She hurriedly cried, Be careful. Xiao Yang, who was facing Nalan Yangran, smiled. He immediately turned his body around and his heavy ruler appeared in his hand. The heavy ruler contained a powerful wind as it was violently swung, crack. The black ruler violently smashed into three long spears. The powerful force shattered the long spears into pieces. Seeing this, a shock surfaced within the hearts of Huang Qian and the other two. They threw aside the spear handles in their hands and swiftly pulled back. Xiao Yang's eyes indifferently swept over the three of them. The heavy ruler in his hand was inserted into the ground. His feet stomped on the ground and a wind lightning sound appeared. His body also strangely disappeared. Huang Qian and the other two were startled when they saw Xiao Yang disappear in a strange manner. They were just about succeed in positioning their backs to face each other to protect themselves when a ghost-like figure appeared in front of them. 
Sharp wind made of fists suddenly arrived and viciously landed on the armor on the surface of their bodies, bang. The fists landed heavily on the three of them. At the same time, a terrifying force came pouring out. Those three were just like kites, whose strings had broken. They flew backwards before colliding into a couple of large trees. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out of each of their mouths. Defeating three four-stars Do Huangs with just a single move. Nailin Yenran's hand involuntarily covered her red lips when she saw this scene. Immediately, her gaze was filled with complexity while looking at that skinny back. This young man, whom she once thought of as trash, had walked ahead of her. All she could do was look up to him. It was the case a couple of years ago, and it was still the case now that a couple of years had passed. Huang Qian and the other two curled together on the ground like prawns, moaning. The armor on their bodies had been shattered by one punch from Xiao Yang. They could not understand just why they were unable to even withstand a blow from this brat with their strength. It was likely that one could hardly find any people even in the entire northern regions of the Central Plains who could do this. The fellow in front of them, just where did he come from? Nailin Yangran was stunned when she saw the smile of the young man. For some unknown reason, her heart felt a firm and safe feeling. All she could do was gently nod her head, you can forget about the white fox. If you want it, we will just have to see if you have the ability, the smile on Xiao Yang's face had become much dimmer. His hand slowly grabbed the heavy Xian ruler beside him as he spoke. The smile on Wang Chen's face involuntarily became denser upon hearing Xiao Yang's words. Anyone familiar with him knew that each time he happily smiled, was the time when the killing intent within his heart had become extremely dense. I have met with Tang Ying from the Ten Thousand Sword Pavilion not long ago and exchanged blows with him. He said there would be a person even more fun to play with behind. I think that he was talking about you. Wang Chen slowly lowered his hand. A dense, black-colored energy swiftly lingered over it. He looked at Xiao Yang as his bright red tongue licked his lips. An instant later, his eyes suddenly turned dark, in that case, allow me to see if you are as fun to play with as he described. Wang Chen's body suddenly transformed into a black line that shot out after his words sounded. In the blink of an eye, he appeared in front of Xiao Yang. His fist, which was covered with black energy, carried a bloody wind as it struck towards Xiao Yang's heart without any fancy moves, be careful. Nailin Yang Ran hurriedly reminded when she saw Wang Chen suddenly attack, bang. A black figure flashed and stood in front of Xiao Yang like a shield in a lightning-like manner. The fist immediately smashed into it, emitting deep sound, corpse eroding hand. His fist swiftly spread and transformed into a kind of permeating dark black color. It strangely bypassed the enormous ruler and headed for Xiao Yang's throat. Wang Chen's attack trajectory was somewhat strange. It swayed all around, appearing like a wooden doll that was not being controlled. It did not appear fast, but it caused one to have a strange feeling of having a difficult time dodging it. Xiao Yang's gaze was intently watching the dark black hand, which was quickly being magnified in his eyes. An instant later, his eyes coagulated. A jade green flame surged onto his fist, without hesitation, before he threw a punch out. Heavenly flame. The exchange of the fists continued for an instant before Wang Chen's expression changed. His feet hurriedly pulled back and the dou qi within his body surged. Immediately, he forced out the small wisp of jade green flame from his palm. His expression gradually became gloomy when he saw that flame. Xiao Yang's finger flicked the heavy Xian ruler, returning it to his storage ring. He glanced at Wang Chen. This person was indeed strong. However, he was not much a threat from Xiao Yang's perspective. Although darkness affinity Dou Qi was strange and unpredictable, it was miserably suppressed in the face of a heavenly flame. If they were to really fight, Xiao Yang was confident he had a 70% of killing this person. Wang Chen smiled in a dark, cold manner. He did not even look at Huang Qian and the two others as his body withdrew and entered the dense fog. A voice was slowly emitted as he did so, no wonder Tang Ying thinks so highly of you. You do possess some ability. Today's matter will end here. I will wait for you on the Heaven Mountain stage and see if you have the ability to arrive there behind Xiao Yang. Nailin Yangran looked at Wang Chen, who had swiftly withdrawn after only a brief exchange. Her pretty eyes contained some shock. Wang Chen's name was quite well known. One could hardly find anyone who was a match for him in the same generation. Moreover, this fellow was bloodthirsty and addicted to fights. Additionally, 
He had an outstanding training talent, and his strength grew extremely quickly. By relying on the strength of the Yellow Spring Pavilion, he liked to fight, with some experts of the Doe Zone class. The other person, being afraid of the Yellow Spring Pavilion's strength, was afraid of really killing him. Hence, Wang Chen's name became more and more renowned as time passed. In the end, there was even rumors of him possessing the strength to fight with a Doe Zone. No one knew whether this rumor was real. Regardless of whether it was real, the strength of this Wang Chen was something that there was no need to doubt. However, Nalan Yangran did not expect that after only a single brief exchange, this bloodthirsty abnormal fellow would be scared away by Xiao Yang. Xiao Yang was unaware of the shock within Nalan Yangran's heart at this moment. His gaze turned to Huang Qian and the two others a short distance away, as he indifferently demanded, Why are you still here? Hearing this, Huang Qian and the two others hurriedly struggled to climb to their feet and fled. Wang Chen's withdrawal had caused them to completely lose any confidence they had. By being able to frighten off the renowned Wang Chen, this person's strength had already far exceeded the level they could contend against. Xiao Yang only exhaled gently after watching Huang Qian and the two others flee in misery. He turned around and looked at Nalan Yang Ran. For an instant, he didn't know just what he should say. The atmosphere immediately became one that was embarrassingly silent. Nalan Yang Ran naturally did not say anything in the face of this quiet atmosphere. Her hand gently rubbed the smooth fur of the white fox while her eyes were lowered. Cough you are you also planning to head to the Heaven Mountain blood pool? The silence continued for a moment before Xiao Yang finally coughed and took the initiative to speak, breaking the silence as he did so, yes. Although I know that it is extremely difficult for me to obtain one of the ten spots with my strength, this trip here could be considered training Nalan Yang Ran nodded slightly and softly answered. Xiao Yang rubbed his hand and suddenly felt a little constrained. He hesitated for a moment before asking, You, why are you here alone? The hand Nalan Yang Ran was using to rub the white fox paused. She raised her pretty eyes for the first time, looked at Xiao Yang, and said, Teacher is undertaking a retreat to train. Hence, I have come out alone to gain experience. Have the both of you been all right during these years? Xiao Yang gaze was drifting as he inquired. Nalan Yang Ran smiled when she saw this. She softly asked, you want to ask about teacher, right? Xiao Yang's body unnoticeably stiffened. He gently exhaled and asked, Is she well? Nalan Yenran's eyes dimmed when she heard this. She nodded and replied, Teacher is very well. Nalan Yangran chose to remain silent in the face of Xiao Yang's question. It was a long while later before she finally said, Teacher instructed me before I left that I am not allowed to tell anyone where she currently is. Especially you. Xiao Yang was stunned when he heard this. He immediately let out a bitter laugh. This woman, it's fine if you don't tell me. Everything's all right, if she is fine, Xiao Yang sighed. He shook his head and expelled the emotions within his heart. After which, he smiled and said to Nalan Yang Ran, I am also heading to that heaven mountain blood pool. If you wish, you can follow me, won't I be a burden to you? Nalan Yang Ran's eyes brightened before she asked with some concern, I am completely unfamiliar with this heaven I mountain range. At the very least, you do know something about it. I will be able to worry less if you are around. Xiao Yang spread his hands as he replied, Okay Nalan Yenran's hand gently rubbed the white fox. She hesitated for a moment before gently nodding, This place is already close to the Heaven Eye Mountain. It is likely that we will be able to reach the foot of the Heaven Eye Mountain after a short while. There is a natural maze there. However, we possess the psychic white fox and need not be too worried about it. Two figures were swiftly traveling through a forest covered by dense fog, when a clear woman's voice was softly emitted. Xiao Yang nodded. It was indeed more convenient, with someone leading the way. Entering the Heaven Eye Mountain does not mean that we are safe. Instead, it is even more dangerous, because the entire Heaven Eye Mountain range is being controlled by a powerful magical beast tribe. Nalan Yenran's eyes slide over as she glanced at Xiao Yang, who was listening attentively by her side. Her attractive manner was filled with the Liu, magical beast tribe. What is their strength like? Xiao Yang was startled and he immediately frowned. This magical beast tribe is called the Gold Swallowing Mouse tribe. Although most of them are ordinary rank 2 to 3 magical beasts, their numbers are so great that it is quite frightening. Of course, the true core of the Gold Swallowing Mouse tribe are still those members who can transform into human form. They are the true controllers of the Heaven Eye Mountain. 
It is rumored that the tribe leader of this tribe has also reached rank 7. His strength is comparable to an elite six-star Dozong, Nalan Yangran whispered. In front of this row of trees were over ten human figures. Clearly, they were all people who had thoughts about the Heaven Mountain blood pool. The ten-plus people turned around and glanced at Xiao Yang upon seeing that there were new people who had arrived. Immediately, their gazes solidified on the small white fox in Nalan Yenran's embrace, psychic white fox. Numerous joyous cries sounded. All the gazes suddenly turned to Nalan Yangran. Those who stopped here were unaware of a method to crack the maze. The sudden appearance of the psychic, white fox immediately lit their despairing hearts. Nalan Yenran's pretty face changed a little upon being stared at by so many heated gazes. She hugged the white fox and gently took a step back, follow me. There is no need to be afraid. Xiao Yang faintly reassured her. Immediately, Dou Qi surged out of his body. The strength of a nine-star Dou Huang surged out of his body without any restraint. The powerful aura immediately suppressed those people who were about to make trouble. The strength of these people were mostly around that of a five-star Dou Hong or below. There was too much of a gap when compared with a nine-star Dou Huang, anyone who enters a ten-meter radius of us will be killed. Xiao Yang's eyes coldly and slowly swept around him. A voice that contained killing intent was gently emitted, causing everyone's faces to change. Their eyes began to struggle. Xiao Yang's feet slowly walked on this ground that was filled with weathered yellow leaves. The soft sho sound had become the only noise in this region. Nalan Yangran followed close behind Xiao Yang. The surrounding malicious eyes caused her hands to be filled with cold perspiration. If these ten-plus elite Dou Huangs were to attack, it was likely that even Xiao Yang would have to temporarily take shelter. The surrounding atmosphere became more tense as Xiao Yang and Nalan Yangran approached the trees. The slight sound of footsteps appeared to have stepped on everyone's hearts, causing them to feel their breathing stagnate. Xiao Yang's footsteps gently landed. He looked at the trees, which were less than ten meters from him, and was just about to sigh in relief when his eyes slowly narrowed into a dangerous arc. At the same time, a savage, cold cry suddenly sounded, everyone, let's attack together. Once we snatch that white fox over, we will be able to have a share of the Heaven Mountain blood pool. The human figure that landed on the ground immediately spat out a mouthful of fresh blood. His expression had instantaneously turned pale. His gaze contained a little shock and viciousness, as he looked at the spot where Xiao Yang was located. No one managed to clearly see just what happened in the split-second event. All they could see was that an unlucky fellow, who had been the first to break the tense atmosphere, suffered a fierce attack the moment he took a step forward. From the looks of it, the one who attacked was clearly the indifferent-looking young man, I will not hold back the next time. Xiao Yang's footsteps gently paused. His gaze stared at the tree door, as his mouth slowly spat out some words that were filled with a stern killing intent. The throats of quite a number of people rolled upon hearing these words. The greed that had just surged from their hearts had also paled a little because of the shock. They looked at each other and none of them dared to attack first. If he's allowed to enter the maze, everyone will have to wait three years before one can gain such an opportunity again. If we can successfully charge in, we might still have a chance. As long as we can enter the Heaven Mountain blood pool, everything would be worth it. The clans and sects that everyone is in will definitely put in a great amount of effort to groom us. Our treatment would be much better than now. What great thing can one achieve by being so afraid? A furious cry that was filled with incitement once again sounded while the greed in everyone's hearts was quietly weakening. Xiao Yang's eyes had turned unusually dark, cold at this moment. He slowly turned his head and looked at the person who had spoken. It was surprisingly still the person from earlier. The heart of the person immediately chilled when he saw Xiao Yang look over. He wiped off the blood on the corner of his mouth, took a couple of steps back, and swept his gaze around. He only let out a dark, cold smile when he saw that greed had once again surged in everyone's eyes. However, before the dark, cold smile that had appeared on his face could completely form, his body suddenly stiffened. This was because he saw a figure swiftly appearing in front of him in a ghost-like manner. Xiao Yang's sinister face was also swiftly magnified in his eyes. The eyes of the person who had spoken narrowed when he saw Xiao Yang appear. Being a Dou Huang, his reaction was quite quick. His feet stomped on the ground and a rock pillar suddenly protruded from the ground. The rock pillar was in front of his feet, and with a push, he shot backwards. 
The heart of the person who spoke sighed in relief, as he sensed the sound of wind beside his ear. He sternly cried out, What is everyone waiting for? Although this fellow is a nine-star Do Hong, he is definitely no match for all of us together. His voice suddenly halted, and his body suddenly stiffened. His eyes narrowed as he slowly lowered his head, only to see a hand, filled with a jade-green flame, viciously penetrating the back of his heart like a sharp blade. The high temperature of the flame prevented the hand from touching even a drop of blood. Xiao Yang's expression was cold after killing this person with one strike. He could sense that the greed in the eyes of those fellows around had been completely stirred. The flame on Xiao Yang's hand surged out and instantly incinerated the corpse of this person into ashes. His body moved and had already arrived beside Nalan Yangran in the next moment. After grabbing her, he charged to the tree door in a lightning-like manner, boom. Boom. The dozens of meters in distance was not far. With Xiao Yang's speed, he covered it within the blink of an eye. Just when his body was about to move, the ground around the tree door instantly began to shake. Over a dozen enormous sharp wooden pillars, agglomerated from Dou Qi, broke free from the ground and coincidentally sealed off the tree door. The dark black ruler's shadow defense was just like a black circular barrier, covering Xiao Yang and Nalan Yang Ran. The fierce attacks could only cause the defensive barrier to ripple a little. The display of the sixth joint body flowing ruler with Xiao Yang's current strength was something that these fellows had difficulty destroying. Moreover, this ruler technique's defense was a continuous one and was unafraid of the other party's superior numbers. Everyone's heart involuntarily became chilled when the last Dou Qi attack was blocked by the Black Ruler Shadow. Although this person was a nine-star Dou Huang, there were nearly twenty Dou Huangs on their side, yet they were unable to break the other party's defense despite attacking together. A nine-star Dou Huang might be strong, but it was likely quite difficult to reach such a stage, no. The black-colored ruler shadows slowly disappeared. Immediately, the figure of the young man that caused everyone's heart to feel a chill once again appeared. A pair of dark black, emotionless eyes slowly lifted. Anyone glanced at with these eyes would feel the chilly feeling of being stared at by a poisonous snake. Though in first, Xiao Yang had his back to Nalan Yang Ran, as he softly said. Nalan Yang Ran was startled when she heard this. She obediently nodded and said, I will wait for you at the entrance of the maze. Do not walk around randomly after you enter. Be careful. Xiao Yang titled his head. Seeing this, Nalan Yang Ran, holding the white fox, carefully withdrew to where the tree door was. After which, she entered it in front of everyone's fiery eyes. The heavy ruler in Xiao Yang's hands was slowly lifted when he saw Nalan Yang Ran enter. A powerful jade green Dou Qi surged out and was immediately poured into the heavy ruler. Following the pouring in of the Dou Qi, the dark black color of the heavy Xian ruler swiftly transformed into a jade green color. Everyone's expressions involuntarily changed when they sensed the powerful Dou Qi that was emitted from the heavy ruler in Xiao Yang's hands. Some of the cautious ones actually began to quietly withdraw. Only now did they understand that this young person in front of them was actually a powerful fellow that was not inferior to people like Tang Ying and Wang Chen, it is too late to leave now. An icy smile surfaced on Xiao Yang's face when he sensed that some people wanted to withdraw. Immediately, he focused his eyes and the heavy ruler in his hand was suddenly hacked forward, flame-splitting tsunami. A soft cry sounded in his heart, and the light in this region suddenly soared. A jade-green ruler glow, over a hundred feet in size, emitted an ear-piercing cry, like a dragon that had broken free from the surface of water. It wildly shot out, causing the entire ground to become a mess at this moment. Numerous crack lines also began to spread like an earthquake. The jade-green ruler glow's speed was extremely quick. In the blink of an eye, it approached everyone. All those people could only maneuver the Dou Qi within their bodies in their shock, as they swiftly formed a Dou Qi defense in front of them. Bang 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 bang. Low and deep energy explosions sounded repeatedly in this empty ground. Miserable cries randomly sounded as numerous figures landed heavily on the ground. Their bodies rubbed across it, forming numerous long scars as they did so. The enormous trees that were broken along the way turned the area within a 50-meter radius into a mess. With Xiao Yang's current strength, by displaying the flame-splitting tsunami with all his strength, even an expert, at the peak of the Dou Huang class, would not dare to easily receive it forcefully. The strength of these people did not exceed that of a five-star Dou Huang. Their fates would naturally be miserable. The ruler glow slowly scattered and the shaking ground slowly stilled. 
Xiaoyang raised his head and glanced at the many human figures who had landed a hundred meters away. Painful and frightened moans could be faintly heard. These fellows would likely end up seriously injured even if they did not die this time around. Xiaoyang shook his hand and the heavy ruler was placed into his storage ring. He was just about to turn around and enter the tree door when a strange elderly laugh suddenly appeared beside him. He he, little fellow, you are really quite vicious to have destroyed all of these fellows. However, are you planning to just leave after turning this place into such a mess? Xiao Yang's footsteps paused. He turned his head, only to see a grey-robed, old man with a somewhat humble-looking appearance standing on the tree branch beside him. The man was looking at him with a smile, Dozong. Xiao Yang's eyes immediately narrowed after they swept over the grey-robed, old man. This person had appeared in an extremely strange manner. Even with Xiao Yang's spiritual perception, he was unable to sense him. Moreover, was it not the case that overly strong people could not enter this Heaven Eye Mountain range? Why was it that this person could? The Heaven Eye Mountain range had the effect of suppressing any overly strong person from entering it, yet the strength of this old man in front of him had already exceeded this limit. It was likely that he was not someone from the outside world. In that case, he ought to be a local expert. Additionally, the entire Heaven Eye Mountain was the territory of the Gold Swallowing Mouse tribe. It was likely that this person was someone from the Gold Swallowing Mouse tribe. The grey-robed, old man was startled upon hearing this. He leaped down from the tree branch. He looked over Xiao Yang once before smiling and saying, Little fellow's eyesight is indeed quite good. Xiao Yang smiled. Having remembered what Nailin Yang Ran had told him earlier, Xiao Yang would naturally not say anything to offend this member of the Gold Swallowing Mouse tribe. Moreover, this person was quite strong and likely possessed a high position in the clan. It was likely that one would suffer by offending him, this younger self is Xiao Yang. I have been reckless to turn this place into this manner. Hopefully, old sir would not blame me. Xiao Yang smiled. A jade bottle swiftly appeared in his hand. After which, he handed it over. These are some qi mending pills. Although I know that these things might be nothing in old sir's eyes, they do possess quite a great effect when used to recover one's do qi. Qi mending pill was a tier 5 expendable type medicinal pill. It had the effect of allowing a do huang, or a do zong to recover their do qi at a faster rate, and was considered a higher tier expandable medicinal pill. The grey-clothed, old man was startled upon seeing this action of Xiao Yang. However, his narrowed eyes immediately brightened when he heard the name Qi Mending Pill. Medicinal pills were even rarer from a magical beast's perspective, because only humans had alchemists. Although some magical beasts were able to refine medicinal pills by relying on their talent, they were too few in number. This Qi Mending Pill might not be of a very high tier, but its effect of swiftly recovering one's Do Qi caused the grey-robed, old man to be attracted. He he, little fellow, I felt that you were very pleasing to the eye when I first saw you. The grey-robed, old man licked his lips and laughed. After which, he did not put up an act as he unceremoniously received the jade bottle from Xiao Yang. After which, he glanced around him, waved his hand and said, It's fine. I will get someone to clean up this place. Little fellow need not be worried. I will also help you clear some of these troublesome things. Xiao Yang grinned and nodded. He cupped his hands to the grey-robed, old man and respectfully said, In that case, Thank you old sir, the old me is Jin Ji Yu. Don't call me whatever old sir, the grey-clothed, old man laughed. His gaze wandered around Xiao Yang's body once before he suddenly said, Little fellow, you are an alchemist, right? Such a scent is not something that an ordinary person possesses. Xiao Yang hesitated for a moment. The other party clearly had a special talent when it came to the sense of smell. Hence, he did not hide anything and gently nodded his head. The dense fog permeated the maze while the gentle touch from his hand appeared, just as though one was touching top quality jade. The lovely, gentle feeling caused one to feel unwilling to part with it. This caused Xiao Yang's heart to involuntarily shake. However, this kind of feeling was swiftly suppressed by Xiao Yang the moment it appeared. He immediately lowered his head in embarrassment and allowed Nailin Yang Ran to pull him as they slowly advanced. This quiet advancement continued for nearly half an hour before Xiao Yang sensed that the surrounding fog seemed to have gradually become much thinner. We are about to leave the maze, beside Xiao Yang, Nailin Yang Ran emitted a soft voice that seemed to have placed down a heavy burden. Nailin Yang Ran's voice had just sounded when a wind blew over. The surrounding dense fog intensely fluctuated. 
They swiftly withdrew, and the surrounding scene slowly appeared. An extremely majestic-looking mountain peak appeared in front of Xiao Yang and Nalan Yang Ran. At this moment, the two of them were at the bottom of the halfway point. Enormous mice that were covered by gold hair repeatedly shuttled around on the two sides of the somewhat steep mountain road, these should be gold-swallowing mouse. Do not harm them. Otherwise, it will definitely anger the gold-swallowing mouse tribe, Nalan Yenran's pretty eyes looked at the large golden-colored mice, as she uttered a reminder. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.